Now it's only been about a week since I installed this thing, but I think it could be the very end to my nighttime chicken predators. Let's go take a look at it. So if you have chickens, you know that the number one problem with chickens is not knowing what to feed them or how to give them uh, uh, the right water, the right this and that. The number one thing about keeping chickens is keeping predators off of them. I've implemented a few things that have um, helped keep them predator free uh, during the daytime, like that owl sitting up on top, kind of his head kind of moves in the wind. Out back, I've also got a crow decoy. Hawks and eagles hate crows, scared of crows, run from crows. But about two weeks ago, I found two dead chickens. And I believe they came through because I always keep the chicken door open. That's something I've done forever, is keep the chicken door open. Now the reason I do that is down on the bottom, I have installed a hot wire. Because of that, uh, anything that comes up at night that touches the hot wire is going to get shocked and going to stay away from then on. Because once you get hit by that thing, it's powerful enough to make you never want to get hit by it again. But a predator still got in my pen. Again, door's wide open. I've always left the door wide open. So shortly after that, I got an email from someone wanting me to promote a product of theirs. Now, I don't normally accept that. I get an email uh, two, three, four times a week, sometimes every day. People wanted me to promote a certain product and they'll send it to me free and I almost always turn it down. But this was something that I had been looking into anyway and thought that it might work on my situation, my uh, nighttime predation uh, situation. So I thought I would get it and accept their offer and it came in, I installed it and I believe it might be the solution. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is called a chick cozy and I think they call it that because the uh, chickens are locked up cozy all night long and um, it's real easy to install. I'll show you the install in just a second. I'll show you how it works and um, and I think this might be it. This might be what I've been wanting. I've thought about installing one of these in the past but I just never have and um, uh, getting an offer like that was uh, too good to refuse. So let's take a look at it. Let me show you how it works, how it's installed and how I think it might be the end of nighttime predation. So I've got it installed on this door. I'll show you the framing of it. It's just real, real simple. So when you first get it, they ask you to cycle through it, push the button down, and it opens and closes about three times, calibrating the door, calibrating the stop points in and out, and then, then that's when you set it. So here's how it works. I'll hold it down, it will close. This is just the manual operation. If I wanted to close it up before I've got it set to close up and it stays closed. Or I can come out here and manually open it. Now, there's several ways to set this. It's got an electric eye here that allows it to uh, close when it gets dark, to open when it gets light. I've got it set on time right now and not, um, and not light. So the way you set it is with this down arrow Right now, it's closing at 21.30. That's 9.30 tonight. It opens at 6.30 in the morning. You probably can't read that. Closes at 9.30 at night. So here it says mode is time. I can also change that to light. I believe that's what it's called. I haven't done that, but I, you can. And, uh, but I've got it set for time. I've got it set to close it uh, again after well after dark now the first night I used it one of them got trapped outside I had it set for 830 which may have been just a little early um, she wasn't used to coming in and out so therefore um, she got caught outside she couldn't find the hole I guess is what you could say so the next night I set it for 930 everything went fine uh, so make sure you set it if you're not doing the light and dark uh, thing then make sure you give them enough time in the evening to get in what I should have done is probably left it open uh, and then given them uh, some time to jump through. They, they'd been doing that during the day, but at night, I guess it was just a different thing. And she got confused and couldn't find her way back in the first night. After that, it was fine. So what happens if one of them gets stuck in it when it's closing? Well, let me show you. Let's go ahead and close it. 
It's got an automatic stop and goes back so it won't let you hurt a chicken. If something's in it, it'll stop. Next time it'll close because there's no obstacle. Now open. This is just manual. So what will this keep out? Well, if you've got bears, those bears are gonna get chicken dinner because the bear can, <laughs> this is the least of that bear's problem. But most predation, most nighttime predation is uh, skunks, possums, raccoons, and maybe owls. During the day when I see a hawk out here or they hear a hawk, they'll all run inside the coop for protection. Well, again, I keep the door wide open as a general rule up until I've got this. Now they run in and I don't see a hawk coming in here and getting in. Uh, they might, but I, as I understand it, they don't like getting in tight spaces that they're not sure of being able to get out of. I think it would help even during the day. So let's go inside and look at the framing of it. As you can see, these screws here on these sides, three screws holding it in, and let me show you how I framed it up, just as easy as it can be. So we are on the inside of the coop now, and basically just screws in here, screws in there, and I just built a uh, across the door, just a, a header across the top with two sides going down to be screwed into. I also put one down at the bottom. It's all womanized, all um, treated wood. And it just basically built up just a little frame. You can do yours differently, but just to build a little frame for it to sit in. It's got three screws, one, two, three, four, five, six. Screws in, it was really easy, probably took me 30 minutes, I brought a little uh, saw out here with me and a, uh, hello baby. See, once they get used to it, <laughs> once they get used to it, even if a camera stared them in the face, they're gonna come on in. Come on, baby. <laughs> I didn't expect that, that's funny. All right, so you know it works, you see it works, you see they're not scared of it. May give them a day or two, just leaving it open, allowing them to come in and out it, and, uh, and, and I think you'll like it. Anyway, it looks like the girls won't in for some reason. I think they think I got something for them. They're gonna peck on my cameras, what they're gonna do. So, it's a Chick Cozy. I'll leave a link to it below. Uh, this one is working well. Uh, I'll just look at the battery. I've had it up for a week. It's been open and closing for a week. and still says 100%. It does take two uh, AA batteries, I believe they are, and they come with it. So, ready to go, ready to put in. Instructions are, are really good. Instructions about how to set the modes and stuff is really good. One of these days I may set it on uh, daytime, nighttime, and just see how that works, see when it closes at night. But as for right now, I've just got it closing by the clock. So not much more to say, it works. And I believe it will keep predators out at night. I think I found the solution and maybe you can too. Look below for my link and uh, check out the Chick Cozy. All right, I think that's it. We're gone.